Welcome everyone to The Background, where I take an anime news story of the week and dive deeper into the story and what it means. And today I'm going to talk about uh, Yutaka Yamamoto's crowdfunded film, or anime project, I should say, Twilight. Um, this was just this week, it successfully crowdfunded. It is the third in a series of projects that Yamamoto working on called his Tohoku Trilogy, um, the first two being Blossom and Wake Up Girls, all set in Tohoku, and he had this idea for this trilogy of anime works back when he was in college, 20 years ago, actually, and the idea was to uh, depict Fukushima, actually, um, which is the prefecture in which the, the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, of course, occurred. So all of these are about various aspects, and um, uh, Yamamoto will um, going to be um, producing this anime project uh, called Hakubo or Twilight. Uh, he crowdfunded 15 million yen, which is about 137 thousand dollars U.S. And um, so uh, yeah, the campaign was actually going to end. It'll end tomorrow. And then it'll open in theaters in a year, next year, 2018 at some point. So that's pretty soon. So that's kind of the, the background. Yamamoto is a somewhat controversial figure in anime uh, because he's worked on quite a few things. Um, he, and he, well, I'll, I'll explain. He's kind of an up-and-coming director, worked on a lot of cool things. He um, helped direct the original... Melancholy of Harvey Susan Mia um, anime series. And then he left um, when they were doing Lucky Star. Uh, about five episodes into Lucky Star, I think, he, he left the studio. And he went on to do Kanagi, which was very well, um, well received that year when it came out, but it has since kind of gone away. Folks aren't as, as interested in Kanagi, it seems to have died, so, so to speak. Um, and he's gone on to, to work on other uh, other projects, but he worked on Full Metal Panic. He worked on he worked on the storyboard uh, for the third ending of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, for example. Um, he supervised Black Rock Shooter. Um, he worked on Air, um, and of course, Wake Up Girls was his thing as well. Um, he goes all the way back to he, he worked on Chubra of all things, and um, Generator Gall. Wow, Generator Gall, which is an anime from, when was that, 1998. So yeah, he's been in the industry for quite a while, a couple decades now. And he, oh, he, he they, um, they say he did key animation and sort of online the movie original scale, but I don't think he's an animator. I think that's a mistake in an in encyclopedia. Anyway, when that, when, um... When he moved on from Kyoto Animation, he was asked about season two of Harui Suzumiya, which was quite controversial, and he apologized for it publicly um, at like a convention. He said, you know, I wouldn't have done it that way, and I apologize to the fans for that. Now, here's the thing. Um, when you leave a studio f five episodes in to an, to an anime series you're directing, that does not bode well for your reputation at that studio, right? Something happened to cause him to leave. And then for you to later on essentially throw your previous employer, your, your previous, um, not just your previous employer, but also your, your previous, like, co-workers under the bus for a project you weren't actually involved on, season two of Haruhi... Uh, that's not a way to make friends, right? Um, so, yeah, Yamamoto has, um, he's a controversial figure. And he went, you know, he says he didn't like the way they did, you know, season two of Haruhi and so forth and, and, and directions. And then he went on to make Kanagi, which is this very fluffy anime series. There's some serious bits to it. Um, but it's a very Moe series, very sort of classically Moe series. So it's like, you're not really pushing the on, you know, like you didn't leave uh, KyoAni and then massively push the envelope of anime. And here you're saying this season two, which was controversial and different and weird, but like you're apologizing for something that was 
trying to do something different? Like, that's just strange. So anyway, um, but he continues to make anime. He certainly considers to ha continues to have his backers and his, his folks. And certainly Wake Up Girls had uh, its, its fans. So with this, he's actually able to move forward. Now, crowdfunding an anime is also something that's still in flux. About half of the anime projects that I've followed... Um, both in terms of licensing them over here, you know, trying to crowdfund a license, and trying to crowdfund, crowdfund original stuff, crowdfund, that's a good word, uh, and projects to, to crowdfund in Japan, about half of them succeed. Um, so it's good that this one succeeded, but it just it goes to show that even projects by well-known people aren't necessarily going to succeed. So this did, which is good. That's a significant amount of money. You know, three, that's a third of a million dollars that he raised for that project. So good on him, and here's hoping it goes. Certainly, crowdfunding has seemed to have done pretty well so far in Japan in terms of us finally getting something out of it. Um, I mean, a few, not so much, especially like American projects, like Stray Dogs didn't really come together very well, um, but that was an American you know, creator and an American kind of production team with Japanese staff kind of executing. But stuff with you know, Japanese creatives um, seems to work out better. And that makes sense. You know, when you're there with everyone else, you know, when you're you know, right down the street, if you will, from the anime studio, then it's a lot easier for a project to occur than these, you know, international productions and these, you know, yeah, I, I know folks in anime, so I'm going to be able to make this anime. Um, so hope here's hoping that uh, Twilight succeeds and goes somewhere. Um, who knows? But that is what that is. So, yep, hope this is helpful.